Hello, designers. When we purchase merchandise for our gifts in our baskets, you may be thinking about buying containers. And I'm certainly sure that you are buying a lot of containers if you're not buying the baskets that we have always had as the mainstay for our gifts. Some types of trays that you can buy are the wooden trays, are the pretty trays. Um, the, I call them pretty because they're silver and they're, they're reflective. The tray that you see in the back of this particular design that was made for as a birthday gift, but it certainly doesn't always have to be a birthday gift. There could be at some point some trays that you purchase that just don't work out for you. This particular tray that you're looking at was a big seller for me, but there's a lot of work to do with that tray to put items on top. I had to cover it with cellophane and then add glue dots and all kinds of items. And while that wasn't a difficult process, I found that putting trays in the back of the designs I was creating ended up being a bigger sell for me than just using the tray, even though I kept using the tray. So I wanna show you in this picture a way that you might bring up the glamour in the gift baskets that you have by adding trays. These tray, This particular tray that you see did come from a wholesaler and I have seen them in stores such as Restaurant Depot, if you have that near you. One other thing I want to share with you about this particular gift that isn't tray based is that this basket that you're looking at does have a few holes in it. The correct holes because of the weaving of the basket itself. And to cover over those holes so that the shred doesn't peek out, uh, I just used a piece of craft paper to line the inside of the tray, of the basket, not the tray, <laughs> the inside of the basket so that the shred stayed where it was supposed to stay. So again, Trays can be wonderful to work with as the base for your gift, or it can be positioned as something in the back of the basket, or maybe if you have a small oval tray, maybe in the front on the side. And that's how you can reposition trays if they're not only going to be the base for your gift basket. I know that this is going to help you to maximize the way you use your gifts and if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'll have a link for you, of course, in the description, something about trays or containers. And I continue to wish you baskets of success. I'm Shirley George Frazier with giftbasketbusiness.com.